What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we're going to take a look at Borealis. This is their new Bull Shark. It's a 300 meter dive watch with some inspiration from Rolex and Tudor. Really good looking, very well made watch. Has some snowflake hands, a textured dial, beautiful ceramic bezels. So let's flip the camera and take a look. So today, another Borealis. Borealis I have featured on my channel many times. They make really high quality micro brand divers. And they've made other watches through the mix. They've made some pilots watches, some field watches, but really I love their divers watches. And today they have uh, sort of reissued their Bull Shark. They did these a little while ago, a few years ago. This is sort of an upgraded version of that Bull Shark. It's a little bit smaller and it gets a textured dial, all of them are getting a textured dial this time, and this one has sort of a honeycomb pattern. It's in 38 millimeters, so it is smaller than the previous version. So this is around, I believe it's 38 millimeters. Let's just do a quick measurement. Basically 38 millimeters spot on, and then at that bezel, it is 38 millimeters. So it lines up with the case, and then on the measurements for the Lug to lug, might as well keep going with this. 47.2 millimeters, you have male end links. Comes out to around 51 millimeters, just under 51 millimeters. Crown on here is very big for the size of the watch. 6.9 millimeters, and then the thickness, you do have a double dome sapphire crystal. I'm measuring 12.9 millimeters. So this is a sort of an homage to a few different watches, but the watches that immediately come to mind are obviously the Black Bay 58, because you have snowflake hands here, and then Rolex, so vintage Rolex, the case, the crown, sort of the setup of the watch, definitely gives you a Rolex vibe. You get a very beautiful honeycomb texture on the dial. It's sort of like a squat honeycomb texture. It's in white, then you have a beautiful white bezel. Now that white bezel is slightly different from the color of the dial itself, and I actually think it works very very well. I like that it has black lettering and it's in ceramic. It's just slightly different from the dial and I think that works. Now I think that some people may not like this color combination because it is very bright. However, uh, they make other versions as well. They make ones with a fully black dial uh, and they make ones with a fully black bezel. So uh, I think there's other colors as well, but the one that I think I like the best is sort of a snowflake dial with a snowflake hand. They have a date at the six o'clock and then a black bezel insert. That one looks really, really sharp. That's a white dial. Uh, and you get the same applied indices, except of course at the six o'clock, which is a date. So this is a non-date version. This is the 9039 inside here. Uh, the other versions with the date get a 9015 from Miyota. Obviously a very good movement and a thin movement. That's because this is a 300 meter dive watch, not a 200 meter dive watch. And at around 13 millimeters thick, you also get drilled lugs, you get solid end links, you know, the typical micro brand buckle. I do wish that they sort of moved away from this. I always say this when I see these buckles now. That being said, it is a very thick, very robust, very heavy buckle that's very well made and will last you a very long time. I just wanna see a little bit more micro adjust on the fly. You do have micro adjust here and plenty of it, six positions of micro adjust, however it is manual. So if you wanna use it, you have to actually use a tool to change the uh, position on the bracelet. Everything is really well made, nicely finished, signed Borealis right there. You have screwed links in the bracelet. It's an oyster style bracelet, as you can see. Uh, just a good looking, all around well made watch. Let's listen to the bezel action. I think it's 120 click bezel. really solid, very loud, audible clicks from that bezel. Very nice. Borealis do a good job with bezel action. They do a good job with the overall construction of the watch. And of course, Loom will do a Loom shot at the end. I'll also do close-ups of the dial so you can see that pattern. It's a honeycomb pattern that's slightly squat or squeezed together, I guess, and uh, looks very good as well. Uh, crown screws out really nicely. Obviously, this is the 9039, so you do not have a ghost state position, so just pull the crown out pops out one position and then there you go. Um, everything works very smoothly, feels very nice. You even have a little snowflake on that 
secondhand for the pip that is loomed as well all of the indices are loomed and they are very large and nicely applied to that dial so they're very deep so really look good and then you have a mini track that's in black as well so black and white theme i like that uh, just an all-around good-looking well-made watch let me throw it on my wrist so you guys can see what this watch looks like on a seven and a half inch wrist and actually I just noticed these are not male end links they are female end links that act like male end links because there is a little bit of art articulation there but not a lot so it does give you an effective lug to lug of around 51 millimeters or just under 51 millimeters so definitely something to keep in mind if you have a very small wrist I think that would be a problem but Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, even wrists probably in the six uh, inch range would be fine with this watch. So very quickly today, I have on my Bulova. This is a Bulova reissue of the Mill Ships. Uh, this is the limited edition with the Salita movement in it. And these actually, I believe, don't quote me, have sold out. Uh, and it took a long time for this to sell out because these were kind of on the expensive side. I think a lot of people were not really that intrigued by them. They're around $2,000. Uh, I got a slight discount on it. I did buy it new. Uh, I did get a discount on them uh, when they came out. I think I bought it from Zales or something like that online and they were offering them for a discount. So I did buy one uh, and I love it. I, I really do love that watch and it's definitely something that I will keep in my collection. So here you go on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see this looks pretty damn good. It's not fitted to my wrist just yet, but very comfortable, very good looking, uh, and that's you know what they're going for here. Very nicely finished as well. You sort of have a polished bezel edge. You have a really nice chamfered edge on the case, satin finish on the sides, and then another polished edge on the bottom. The bracelet is all polished, or excuse me, all brushed. The buckle has an edge on it as well, but it's a satin edge, so essentially it's all brushed with just a satin finish on the edges of the buckle. Uh, like I said, Probably the only problem I see with this watch, but again, it's not really a problem. It's just that uh, it's an opportunity for upgrade, and I keep on saying that. The case back also very nicely finished, and you have the mermaid that Borealis put on all of their case backs, or most of their case backs, and of course, information on the watch on the case back as well. Price on this, they're still doing that sort of 50 50 thing that they do, so it's 50% up front, then 50% when the watch is ready to ship. So it's $249 and then $249 when it's ready to ship. So the price on this is $499 or $498, um, which I think is on the more expensive side for a watch with a Miyota 9000 series, but definitely worth it considering the quality and the look of the watch. I think it's a really nice watch that's very, very well made, very reliable. And of course, Carlos is the owner of Borealis, very responsive, really nice guy, Stand, stands behind his products. Reminds me of a lot of, uh, you know, Zelos. If you are a fan of Zelos, a uh, very similar situation with him. Really great guy, stands behind his work um, and makes pretty awesome watches very quickly. Let's do a loom shot and then wrap up the video. Oh, there you go. So like I said, Borealis really never skimp on the loom. So they put a lot of loom in the indices and hands. They did not loom the bezel this time, which would have been nice, but you have black in the bezel for this. I don't know if other versions have a loomed bezel. That would be really cool. Uh, but this looks very, very good. And it's very liberally applied, very deeply applied on those hands and indices. So you're getting very bright loom that will last a very long time. I only charged this just for a few seconds and it obviously is very, very bright. Uh, actually lights up that white dial very nicely. Beautiful watch, really nicely executed, obviously an homage to some Rolexes. Um, you do have those snowflake hands. They also have other versions with Mercedes hands. So that's where they're going with this, I think, uh, but not an entirely 100% copy of those watches it's just an homage uh, and in a true sense of an homage which is good tell me what you guys think down in the comments below i want to hear from you guys what do you think of this watch what do you think of the price what do you think of the brand tell me what you guys think i want to hear from you guys please also don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon it is super helpful for the channel and i very much appreciate it please follow me on instagram my instagram is watch chris blog all one word i have some links in the description those links are to amazon if you click those links and buy anything it helps support the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra however i very much appreciate it anyway thank you for logging on i'll catch you guys in the next video